Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Maniac here and today I'm back with the top 5 variants on Infinite Warfare that you can get because they're overpowered, they're really good and things like that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop straight into the top 5. So, number 1 is the Mauler Mammoth. This is because it is a 2 shot kill at any ranges which is absolutely ridiculous making it a mouth machine and making it very strong for the amount of ammo it has per clip. It has 80 bullets per clip. So if you work that out, a two shot kill, you, if you're 100% accurate, you're going to get around 40 kills per clip and, you know, so that makes it on average, you should be around getting about 20 kills per clip, which is absolutely insane. So if you want to get a lot of kills and rack up them feeds, definitely use the Mauler Mammoth. However, it does have reduced fire rate, uh, reduced ADS um, time and reduced, uh, reduced movement speed like when you're crouching or when you're running around and things like that but if you use man at arms i think that completely like puts the movement speed back to like an smg so just use man at arms with the mauler mammoth guys and then you've got an absolute overpowered setup so number two we've got the r3k wrecked or just a wrecked um it's basically like the Man of War from Black Ops 3, apart from it has less recoil, it is fully automatic now as well, even though the R3K is a 3 round burst usually, but yeah, this gun is an absolute tank, like, if you get this gun, it's just going to be a bit worse of the Mauler Mammoth with a better fire rate, so, like, it's like 3 bullet kill, it's a 3, I think it's a 3 shot kill guys, but it has a higher fire rate than the Mammoth, so, it's, I think, mm, that's difficult, which one's better, I don't know, I'm going to go with the Mammoth though, in my opinion, I think the Mammoth will be better, I haven't really used much of these two weapons on Infinite Warfare, but I know they are really, really good from when I've picked them up for a brief amount of time and things like that, so anyway guys, that wraps up number 2, the Wrecked is absolutely a beast, definitely go for that and try and buy it from the Prototype Lab, number 3, you've got the Demos, which is the last weapon you unlock for the last mission team, um, it's over 100% accurate for an SMG, making it an incredible, incredible SMG, and it also, fire rate increases over shooting time after you get your first kill, so on your second kill, like when you, after you've got one kill in that life with the gun, then the fire rate will increase over time, like the longer you shoot it, making it an absolute beast for fire rate and an absolute beast for accuracy, so that gun is an absolute melt machine at short range. Um, number four guys we've got the k-bar invective um bonus headshot damage guys but reduced damage to the legs but this makes it an absolute melt at the upper part of the body and it also has reduced recoil as it is stacked with orbit so just listen to that guys that just sounds overpowered the k-bar is a melt as well so with better accuracy you know oh that gun's just an absolute beast guys and number five we have the vpr yokai Prevents uh, revealing of enemy uh, death location, which is absolutely huge. So if you get a kill, people will not know their enemy, their like their ally, because uh, they're an enemy. Their ally has just died there, so you can go around and play it very stealthy with that weapon. It also has a built-in suppressor to help the stealthiness, um, like improve the stealthiness of it, uh, and it also has um, increased movement speed crouched. So. There is no negative with that gun really guys, it's just three positives there, so you can tell that's just going to be an absolute beast. However guys, I've also got one more weapon for you, even though it's not in the top five, you've got the Volk Goliath. It's semi-automatic, but it's a two-shot kill, and it also has a reduced idle sway when aiming. So the only negative there is semi-auto, but it's a two-shot kill guys, so literally two touches of the trigger, bang, they're dead. So, you know, like... These semi-auto weapons are so powerful in the top, like, five, and this weapon, like, all the, um, oh, they are, like, the Mammoth, incredible, the Volk Goliath, incredible, the Goliath's just a bit worse version of the Mammoth, but, obviously, it doesn't, it has less negatives about it. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap up the top five, uh, variants on Infinite Warfare, leave a like if you did enjoy, uh, sub if you are new to the channel, and with that being said, guys, peace. I'll see you in the next one.